Hey, uh, sorry this isn't a grill tag video today, but, uh, my arms hurt because I got two injections this morning. And I only freaked out a little below average, so. <laughs> yeah, ladies, ladies, calm down, it's fine. <clears throat> but anyway, um, how I draw. I'm self-taught, I don't take many lessons, but today I'm just gonna show you some of the things I do that helps me. I'm, j I'm not gonna teach you how to draw anything today. I'm planning on making something like that in the future, but n not not yet. So let's get started. Alright. So first off the bat, of course you want uh, this rough sketch just to know how it's going to look and to make sure that the scale is right and everything. For people who don't rough sketch, I really do suggest it. It helps a lot. Uh, for the head, yeah, just start with a circle, continue with the chin. I'm not the best, uh, teaching, uh, <laughs> I'm not a tutorial YouTuber as much, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, yeah, so after you're done with the rough sketch, you're gonna want, uh, to get your brush. I don't usually make my, uh, grill tie characters furry, like, fluffy, but, uh, some people do and it looks good, so I tried doing that this time. So now the line work is finished, I'm gonna mention something that I do. So first of all, of course you wanna get rid of the um, rough sketch because now you know where you're going and fix anything that's missing. Um, after that, if you look up there, there's a little squiggle line thing. I drew an arrow to it right there. Use that and press copy and paste at the bottom there. Like right about there. Yeah, so when you press that, it'll spawn a new layer that's exactly the same. So now you just go to the layer below that and it can't interfere with your line work because the color is on a separate layer like the lower one. So it'll still have like the paint bucket properties, but it won't interfere with any of the lines. See? All right. So now you just paint bucket away. I almost forgot, uh, you're gonna want to switch, uh, like, you're gonna want to paint bucket the blank areas with white, because of the next part we're gonna do. So, you click on the picture itself, on the layer, that'll show up, and you want to press alpha lock right there. What that will do, it means you can't color anywhere that there's not anything, because, like, look, I'll take a different color to show. Um, about there. See, it's not going on the white area, so that it won't leak onto any other part of the picture. Now for shading. You can take, uh, it, you can put it near the yellowish part or the redder part. It doesn't really matter, just whatever you want the aesthetic to be. Just pick a darker color than what's already there and put the same, like, pattern as the line work. So it'll, yeah, like that. Same for the other side. You're just gonna, for, for shading, you just put it wherever the light isn't going, like in real life, because, yeah. <laughs> Same for the face. Oh, thanks, Crab. Thanks for interrupting things. You, you leave. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um... <laughs> The reason I always make the, uh, grill tag stomach, the gray part, not circular like in the game, is, like, since gor gorillas actually have, like, a, a very muscular build, I decide to put it more like that. I just like it better. Alright. The great part about having the line work on the outside and the alpha lock, which means you can't blur it out, is because of what we're about to do. It actually helps a lot. First, we gotta do the mouth. Usually I'd pick a darker red for the mouth and the lighter red for the tongue. And the eye shading, which is just like the same skin color but a little lighter. Right there. Alright. Now, get your smudge tool up there. And the pattern we're going to do to make it like nicely shaded is outward. So we're pulling the lighter part into the dark. 
and then we're gonna spin it more in a circle like in a different direction basically same for down here out and around yep good and you can go over the parts that don't look quite right One more thing, you can shade the arms like this, but if you want to make it actually look like fur, like a gorilla has, then you do it like, just roughly like, pull it up and down and that makes it look like fur, like, <laughs> scribble it, but carefully so that it doesn't go through anything. Lastly, we have the highlight. Uh, for that, I just get a layer that's over everything else. So right here. And pick the lightest, like, skin tone. Like, just pick your skin tone, but way lighter. Put it in the eyes. And take the darker version of the skin tone. And put it at the bottom. And if I, usually I make it, like, for the funsies, I go down here to vin uh, luminance. Uh, go to flare and get that color smack it right there wait no right there yeah all right well that's it um i'm gonna give you the full time lapse also before i forget uh subscribe oh yeah you should yeah. subscribe okay yeah well, that yeah, sounds yeah. like a fantastic subscribe. idea yeah, i think i know right now. i just subscribe oh, yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. okay yeah you should yeah. 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 that little right red now. button turn gray or something